Hello guys and welcome back. In this video, I'll be going over uh, all of our trades this week while we entered this trade. And I want to show you guys, you know, some quick trade lessons. As you guys can see, looking from uh, the past weeks, we had 100% win rates, 80%, 91%. This week was the worst. I mean, we got the market pullback. Uh, we even got puts, but... It's just, you know, some stuff that I want to go over uh, to make uh, things uh, clear up. So, link in the description for the trade lock. We, we actually added a new feature, chart setup feature. You guys can actually see the charts and why we entered in. So, for example, this J&J trade that we took, this was a ascending triangle breakout. So, you guys can see all of our entries, why we entered in, and the chart feature. So let's go over here. We had TSM. So we can go over here. And this was a descending triangle breakout. Now we got in two uh, entries. Our first entry was um, around right over here. And then we averaged down at the rejection. Once we uh, once it actually rejected it, uh, we were more confident um, on it. And we swung it uh, around next week over the weekends, hitting over... 250% now these puts did hit 300% so if you go over here you know it, it dropped back down it filled the price target which is very nice so this trade was very solid very perfect uh, nothing about it um, we also had the market uh, pullback which we timed nicely now it did gap up this might actually be a start of a new uptrend not too sure this can be a breakaway gap though so next trade we have the spy we have i think it was spy puts now this was uh, on the ema video this was a very simple strategy what we did was we shorted below the 21 ema and the price target was the 50 ema so this uh all i covered uh i covered all of this on uh the video uh, for that but um, as you guys can see 50 21 we entered inputs right below um, I think it was around open when the CPI data did release but we have this 50 EMA um, I'm not too sure about the next direction I'm only bearish if we cross below the 50 EMA because I will be getting puts below the 50 EMA we are going to the 100 EMA but for next week I'm not too sure uh, what will go on with the market I'll be covering that in the watch list for next week now the next trade we did was uh this was a 90 percent and then the next trade we did was uh dia which is the dow jones and we did the same thing uh you know just like spy this was a nice 60 percent i did i think get in a little bit late and then we had qqq we took this trade off the 50 ema uh, this uh, also paper handed this at mine at two twenty percent. This went uh over fifty percent last time I remembered, but I also covered this on the EMA. So if you go to QQQ and we add the fifty EMA, so we got our calls right over here, and this was a day trade. And if we go over the trade log, and we look at the chart, uh three hundred twenty one point seventy seven. So 321 points. So around right over here, it jumped quite nicely. This would have been over 100% uh, if you held it. But congratulations, we got a 20% uh, on puts. And then the next one was spy calls. So spy calls, uh, another very nice trade. Uh, so after the pullback, we were playing the gap on SPY. So if we actually go to the SPY, which was on Friday. So we go to SPY. Uh, you guys can see that our price target was actually 488 on the daily gap. So if we go to the daily, um, we had this gap. So right around over here, we were playing this. We got in right at open. This was a very nice uh 90%. So if you guys look at the 50 EMA, we had the VWAP bouncing, you know, um, we had the trend. I'll be making a video on VWAP after this. So that was a nice 90%. And then we had AMC. The AMC trade 
Uh, this trade we actually had calls. So if you guys actually uh, can see, I did make a 20%. Uh, this was minus our losing trade and the winning trade. So we actually got calls right around over here. But uh, it broke VWAP and right around over here, it was bear flagging. So we sold uh, our puts for a 50% and got this uh, bear flag and won this trade by hedging uh, against our calls so if you guys can actually see right around over here uh 52 percent on our puts now i did somewhere right over here so amc watching carefully and then i did say amc bear flags and breaks to vwap level this can be a nice short entry very similar to our play um, so ignore this. This was actually spy. Uh, I mistyped this, but uh, as you guys can see, right over here and around right over here, I did give uh, the price target. Um, so the price target was actually on the VWAP level. So 13.18. That was a very uh, nice play. It hit our price target, and it actually made a downtrend. Um, but we did, uh, so around right over here, but we did, uh, s we sold right over here on this VWAP level, uh, around right over here. Um, we closed it early because of the theta on our contracts. We did had ODT, E0 zero day, uh, zero day expiry. So that is why we sold it early, but, um, hope you guys caught on to it. I'll be making a VWAP video, uh, hopefully after this. Now on to the losing trades. We had Exxon Mobil XOM. This was a cup and handle breakout. Now, this one I sold mine at Monday. The main reason I sold mine was to secure gains on the TSM calls right over here. So TSM and Exxon were on the same day. And we also had some oil news uh, which created some demand. But I'm not too mad about uh, Exxon. It was a pure paper hands. Because, as I said, I'm not worried uh, about the loss on Exxon. Because if you look at the daily, let's close out the VWAP. So if you look at the daily, we have this very nice cup and handle that we are currently in. So this will be a very nice uh, play for next week. We are currently swinging it. Um, but this will be a easy 100% uh, in my opinion. And I'm overall bullish on oil over the summer. So, you know, I'm not too mad about this trade. Uh, some people did uh, hold this and follow the TA, uh, which is a lesson. So right around over here, follow the TA, trust the process. So congratulations if you held. Let's go on to our next losing trade. So... This one was, we were playing uh, the gap down below on XLC. So this is the communications ETF. Let's pull the chart XLC. And right over here, we got calls right at the bottom. Now, I'm going to be going over this uh, right over here. So the key lesson for this one is that the gap can be uh it can act as a support so let's go over here gaps can be used as support and if, and if we are already extended for the day and enter the gap it can be used more of as a support so right over here we already had a red day so we go to our ruler and we can already see that the stock was down um the stock was down around uh, one percent. So if you look at the top, like, you know, that's a one percent. So it's already down so much. Okay, so it's acting more of as a support because it's already down so much. But this is still a possible play for next week. As you guys can see, XLC is currently uh, doing its head and shoulder formation. If we reject right over here and enter a gap, this can be a future play for next week. And this is definitely going uh, on our watch list. But this one, uh, you know, uh, I can learn from this play that just be careful once we enter the gap. Um, so... Very simple uh, lesson on that. Again, very sorry. All of our calls kind of went to <laughs> 80% at open. Um, 
this is like the only uh, actually tr uh, the actual trade that we lost because the other ones if you held you would have been uh, green and then we had the XLC again now I paper handed this one and we were playing the I think we were playing the gap uh, to the upside and let's pull up the chart right over here so somewhere around I think it was the hourly so let's turn off extended um, charts over here so we had this gap uh, right over here so I was trying to uh, play this and I clearly did paper hand this so kind of my fault uh, for that and then the next one we have is the spy so we have the spy now this trade we were playing uh the gap to the upside which we actually played on friday and it hit uh around our price target now this one i wanted to teach you guys was that if we are uh in a losing trade we can hedge ourselves uh with puts if we pay, uh if we play the bear flag uh down below like how we did with amc now this is what i learned on the spy trade and I implemented this on Friday on the AMC trade so if we go over here uh, let's not quit this let's go uh, look at the five minute and we have the AMC I mean spy so let's look at the spy trade on Thursday now we were playing uh, we were playing a gap fill somewhere around over here so we were playing this gap uh, right over here so as you guys can see, so let's do this. Okay, so oh my god. Okay, so as you guys can see, we we're trying to play this gap fill, and we got an early. Now, uh, it was it did fill the gap almost, uh, right over here. So we were playing this gap, and we got uh, calls on Friday. But this trade we lost. Okay, we lost this trade right around over here. So. I cut mine, uh, I think it was 50%, minus 50%, uh, right around this bear flag. But, you could have gotten puts to hedge against the loss and play uh, this bear flag. So, if we look at the VWAP, um, as you guys can see, we broke the VWAP, major support, and it kind of just dumped uh, off of that. But, at the end of the day, we did break even, uh, same on XLC, uh, but we managed to get calls right at opened and played this uh, to the upside. But overall, a pretty bad week. Um, I wanted to go uh, everything uh, through uh, this video. Hope you guys learned. I will be making a view up video uh, next uh, today, I think, tonight. Um, but uh, we are swinging. The only thing we are swinging is uh, F which is the ascending triangle uh, and the gap and then we have the Exxon for the cup and handle so very nice plays very solid uh, week uh, uh, pretty ugly week as I said 63% um, uh, but again I want to be as transparent uh, for you guys uh, the small account does start uh, next month I'm working on some uh, some uh, stuff some PDFs uh, for a small account you know some trade plans so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you for watching